How you doing everybody? This is Drew from NHR. I just wanted to do a quick instructional video on the BDCs. I'm updating this. Just let me be very clear that these do not come in individually wrapped boxes with extra heads. Uh, I had the option of ordering them that way and they were twice as much money and it seems like a much better deal uh, to do it because when they come in those bigger boxes the shipping doubles. The size that it would take me to get it would be twice the shipping and that all you know comes into the price of the final product product so uh, people are having some issues one of the things that I wanted to be really clear about these heads if you if you when they come out of the box you should probably just open them up and give this a little wiggle just pull this out just a little bit and because that is this is actually the contact pin that touches the center post of your battery. So on some devices, that's deep. So you want to screw this on there really good, and you just want to center this. So you don't really have to take it off to fix it. You can actually just get a tweezer and like sort of wiggle this out, you know, sort of wedge it in there and pull up a little bit that way and then a little bit the other way. And you'll see it. It's very, very minute, that level in there. But you just want to make sure that's centered off. That's number one. Okay, so these fill from the bottom. You want to make sure that this is tight. If this is loose, this actually makes, this is what seals up the battery. This touches on there. So if this is loose, you're going to get a bad seal. The drip tips on these they're standard you can use other drip tips but realistically these I don't know if you can see that there's a little white rubber thing in there that decreases the airflow so if you're having issues where it's it's um, it's not working properly and you're using a different drip tip then change back to the other drip tip and that should improve it or that should fix it so you want to fill that up. Now this is the way I film. I stand this up on something like that. This is first time only. The first thing I do is put one, two drops in there, right? And let that soak in. Now you'll see while I'm filling this, fill this all the way up. I don't know how much I can tilt that to show you. To the top of that tube. I fill it all the way up, right to the very top. Now I put one more drop in here. Now that the other two drops are soaked in, I put one more drop in there. Then put it back on. The, you don't want to strip that out. So what I usually do is turn it back until it backwards, until it levels out and you'll feel it align up and then snug that up. If you feel any resistance when you're screwing that back in, stop. Because you don't want to strip out the uh, the poly in there so that's basically it <coughs> this will now this is pre-primed because you as you saw I just primed it so I'm going to use this on here just to show you now these all fill the same you can do the same with all of these and again None of these come with extra heads. Uh, they come just like this. They'll come in a bubble mail or just like this. Hmm. I mean, these right out of the box, they should be hitting just like that. If you have any issues with that, people are saying that they have like burnt taste and this, that, and the other thing. I have this turned all the way up. 4.4 .4 volts which is uh, all the heads are about 1.8 1.9 ish it's right somewhere between 8.5 and 9.5 watts should be outstanding should be perfect if you have any issues on devices some devices if these don't get the proper airflow because you can see there's no air slots down here in the air holes right there. Been getting a lot of uh, people with Pro Varies and other devices that don't have airflow on top of them. That screws all the way down. These require proper airflow. 
Now the amount of airflow will vary with the percentage of the juice. The majority of the ju liquids that I use are 70 30 VG, 70 VG, 30 PG. But I have used I've used the opposite, 70 VG and 30 PG. Now depending on who makes that juice, some people when they use all that VG, they'll cut the liquid with either distilled water or pure grain alcohol, which thins it out. So if you have any issues, just try different combinations. If you're using it on a device where there's no airflow, either use a different device or you might just have to loosen it off a little bit. You know, if, if a device uh, has these air grooves in here, well, I got this on, a, on a, an e-pipe, but this is the silencer, which is a, a thing that I make. But if it has that airflow in there, you shouldn't have any issues at all, as long as it has these slots or something going out. Some of them, some devices have it, some devices don't. Some devices are, are ego style, uh, which you could use an ego style uh, BDC on. So that, that's pretty much all I wanted to clear up. That's how you fill them. That's how you maintain them. Uh, I showed you how to take the, the wick out. The wicks come in this box, just like this. Five for thirteen dollars. Uh, we're going to be putting up uh, some specials soon. If you buy more than one pack or more than one device, you'll get uh, a discount. So that's it. That's the Aspire BDC. Thanks for watching.